If we have decomposed a sequence with the Z transform, we can reconstruct the sequence with the inverse Z transform. The inverse Z transform can be calculated with the following integral, which is an integral that is computed over a closed contour in a counterclockwise direction in the region of convergence. More often than not, it is less than enjoyable to compute the inverse Z transform with the integral, so we cheat. Since we have large lookup tables of sequences and their associated Z transforms, and since the Z transform is a linear operation, we can simply try to break up the Z transform sequence into a set of isolated Z transform sequences that we recognize. We can then use the lookup table to recover the sequences and add the different sequences together. This method is particularly powerful if the Z transform se sequence is a rational function, i.e. a ratio of polynomials. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, x of z is a proper function. And the denominator can be rewritten as a set of roots multiplied together. When we rewrite x of z into this form, we can break x of z down into a sum of fractional components. The numerator of these components is called a residual. By multiplying both sides of this equation by one of the roots, we can find each residual by evaluating x of z by the chosen root. Since we know that exponential sequences yield z transforms of this form, we can massage our big equation to take a similar form. By using the lookup table and the delay property, we find that the sequence will equal a summation of delayed exponentials that are zero for n less than one.